Hi, my name is Enrique Batista, and today I'm going to be presenting my picture book on Too Many Tamales. And the book is detailing the family traditions of Mexican American families. It is about a young girl named Maria who was helping her mother out make some tamales for Chris's dinner. Later on, Maria tries on her mother's precious ring while she was making the tamales. Her cousins Dolores, Teresa, and Danny come over. And that's when she realizes that she had left the ring in one of the tamales. So um, Maria asks her cousins to help her out and find this ring. In order to do that, they had to eat all the tamales. And they eat all the tamales and they don't find the ring. And that's when Maria starts getting concerned and starts worrying. And that's when she realized that she must confess and tell her mother that she had lost her ring. And she does that. And after she's done, her mother tells us that she was wearing the ring all along, that she didn't have to worry. And so the main message that I took from the book was it's better to be honest than to worry and try and and hide the problem. Uh, right here is Eddie Martin, uh, Ed Martinez. Uh, he is an illustrator of this book. And I love the way he used the colors to represent how vibrant a Mexican household is because that's how I feel whenever I go home. Um, I love the uh, attention to detail he's put into the type of masa that she's using, her mother's using, because that's the same one that my mom make that my mom uses when she makes tamales. So I think that's very cool how you integrated uh, just little things that make this like authentic to a Mexican household. So the some background on Gary Soto, who is the author of this book. He is a poet. He is a poet a writer from uh, from Fresno, California. Uh, he has written for adults and children, and Sotos draws many of his inspirations from his, his experience of being Mexican-American. Uh, many of his stories and poems are set in a Spanish-speaking community, basically. Um, throughout his books, he is regarded to intertwine uh, English and Spanish words, which there's a few in, in this book, like when he says uh, masa, that's basically dough in English. So it's just the little words here and there. Um, Soto's po uh, poetry addresses such themes as family, community, and the lives of working class Chicanos. Uh, the interpretation I took, uh, I took from the book was that the book provides a representation of how other cultures uh, customs look like. And this one in particular focused on the tr traditions of Mexican American household. Um, and one lesson that, that I saw that was in this book was that to step up and take responsibility for your actions and I think that's an important thing for children to learn at an early age. Um, another thing is that Martinez creates pictures that depicts snippets of things set in American and Mexican American households, rather than a, a over, overflow of culture. Culture. So I, I love that he just put like sudden hints that that make it feel like it's in a, like a Mexican household, and so. I I appreciate this book because as a kid I never had those type of re representation of Mexican Americans in books. So seeing this makes me kind of happy for for kids now growing up and seeing people like them in books because I never had that. So I think this is this is an amazing book for children to read.